We're putting the Suns on upset alert. And again, by we, I mean me. Brandon Ingram had 30. Chris Paul had, checks notes, four. Four points in 35 minutes. Huh. Never got to the free throw line. Maybe his worst playoff game ever. Nick, how worried should Suns fans be? Okay. Suns fans should not be worried at all with one minor wow. exception. So let me tell you why they shouldn't be worried, and then, Brew, I'll tell you why maybe they should. Okay? The reason they shouldn't be worried is because everyone always does this wrong in their head. When a team... So, Bru, New Orleans is the road team. They got the split in Phoenix. They stole home court. Phoenix now stole it back. In order for New Orleans to be in good position, they need to win both the home games. They didn't. So, now, so it, it, I know it doesn't feel that way, but Phoenix did what they were supposed to do in this little two-game set. And Chris Paul was utterly brilliant in game three and then was awful in game four. I think Phoenix will be fine unless Zion Williamson throws his cape on and goes and plays. That could shake the series up. Otherwise, I think Phoenix will win this thing in six. I think Phoenix will win game five and then win game six in New Orleans and it's <laughs> over. Here is my only point of trepidation. And if we could put everyone on the screen here, because I think I'm going to maybe rattle some confidences here. Phoenix is dealing with something that I don't know if America has recognized yet, but it is a real dire situation. And that is the old Creole curse of Bruce R. (laughs) Because it got the Clippers. It got the Nets last year. It has already gotten the Nets this year. And as many young, you know, New Orleans natives have heard for years and years when their grandmother's putting them to bed, bed, beware of the curse of Broussard. I worry it has gotten the Suns. <laughs> you, you, you put it on them, the old Broussard stink get, maybe got to them. So I think the Suns are good enough to survive this round, but the curse of Broussard concerns me a bit, my friend. But otherwise, I think they'll be okay. Well, look, D. D Book, Devin Booker, he looks like he could be Creole. He's not Creole, but he looks like he could be. But um, <laughs> look, they, they, and I did pick Milwaukee to win the finals last year, at least once we started the finals. Once, once we got through the conference Event, finals, Yeah, I once we started the Milwaukee finals. In that series. Yeah. yeah, once it was down to I, two I, teams. I'll, I'll rest my cap yeah, on that. Yeah, good job. Uh, but look, I, I don't think they're going to lose this series. But I do think Suns fans should be concerned because we don't know when Devin Booker's coming back and how Devin Booker's coming back. And that's the key. And if they, like I said, I think they get past New Orleans. It might go seven, Nick. I mean, New Orleans is not the the bad team we've been thinking of, you know, for the past few years. I mean, Brandon Ingram obviously is starting to come into his own, getting 30 points in each of these, what, three straight games. And C.J. McCollum. He is giving them not only experience and leadership, but obviously great guard play. And here's the two things that concern me. I mentioned Booker maybe not being there. Chris Paul can't do it every night at his age, Wilds. All right, he gave us 30 in game one, 19 in the fourth quarter. It was awesome. Then he goes five for 16 in game two. 28 points in game three, 19 in the fourth quarter. Then he gives us four points last night. And Jose Alvarado, your buddy, the little oh. pesky cheater. Yeah. You know, they, they, they well, oh, not cheater, but the game the I, I don't like it. The sneaky, with the little sneaky mess <laughs> that he's doing. Give me, let me show, hiding in the corners and acting like, look at that. I mean, come on, yeah. Jose, you're yeah. better than that. But you it are, And he is better than that. But got, like, come he on, got dude. Chris. <laughs> he got Chris well, on this he, Here is the thing. He, on Sunday. He, he. He got Chris, and he also, he is a pest. He is athletic, and (laughs) he is, he he got that, but he also held held Chris to an eight-second violation as well. Like, he is bothering Mm. Chris Paul. Look, here it is. I mean, that is just some good old-fashioned classic defense that Jose could do all the time. He doesn't need to resort to the gimmicks. But anyway, uh, they're, they're a, a tough team that's <laughs> believing in themselves. And I think, Waz, look, 
I think the Suns get through this series, but they got to get Booker back quick, fast, in a hurry, and they need him at 85% to get past the okay, next Okay, first round. of all, I, I understand Devin Booker is important to the Phoenix Suns, and Zion Williamson is important to the entire franchise in the future of the New Orleans Pelicans. So, Zion released, or he didn't release it, but we saw another warm-up video of Zion. Did it look like Ben Simmons' warm-up videos were, like, apathetically dribbling? Nope. This guy is ready <laughs> to go. What, do you, what more do I need to see from Zion? He is ready to That's go. Perfect. And here's the thing. I understand there is a lot of, well, you know, let's, let's, let's wait for the future. I don't want to risk it. Carpe diem, Pelicans, and here's why. I'm going to go back to the bubble. There was three big winners in the bubble. Obviously, the Lakers were the big winner. The other two big winners were the Heat, who proved that they had a championship team, then reinvested with Kyle Lowry and tried to make a, a run, and then all of a sudden they're the number one seed, right? The other big winner was who of the bubble? The Phoenix Suns. Because they said, you know what? Yeah. We're not, we could win out and not even make it. And they did it. Right. And Monty Williams had that big part, not big part. He went into the locker room and said, you guys are legit now. You're for real. And then they flew home. They didn't even get to really play in the playoffs. The Pelicans yeah. can have a franchise-altering first round. Nobody else can have a franchise-altering first round. True. Even if Brooklyn comes back, they're like, yeah, we were kind of supposed to. If the Pelicans win... It could define their franchise and put them on a better course. They were on the course of Zion leaving. They get CJ. They start to win a few games. Have Zion come back. Who knows where you are in a few years? It's, so it's not investing for the future. Play Zion. Get him in. Scare Phoenix. I, steal this. It's, it's super important. I can't stress it enough. I agree 100%, especially because while I didn't buy into the idea that Ben Simmons could help you for 10, 12 minutes, I do think even if Zion can only yes. play 12, 14 minutes, these games without Booker have been close enough. Game three came down to the final second. Game four, they won. You know, that Zion's little boost in those 12, 14 minutes could be a big difference. The other thing I do want to give New Orleans credit for is they played an almost perfect game. They got 19 offensive rebounds. They only had eight turnovers. And as was a trend mm -hmm. this weekend, the desperate team that, you know, needed the win to extend the series sure seemed all weekend long to get that favorable whistle. I know Memphis was upset about it. Uh. New Orleans shot 42 free throws last night. Denver got the whistle. Utah got the whistle. Minnesota got the whistle. New Orleans got the whistle. But they took advantage of it. And I give them credit for it. But I agree with you in general, Wilds. It, I, it is impossible for me to believe Zion can be doing those things and not be able to give you, you know, be your eighth man off yeah. in the game. I think he should be able to be. I'm surprised they're not using him. Wilds, you make a great point. Here's the one thing. I, it's just something to be aware of. It is harder to work in a superstar than a role player. Like, bringing Zion in... Now everything changes for Brandon Ingram. Everything changes for C.J. McCollum, who's never played with him. If he were a role player, that's True. one thing. But to bring that's in a star that's going to demand shots, it's just, it's just, I like, they need to be practicing with Zion. Hopefully they are. And, and before they get him in. That's Look a who's in point. club superstar, this guy, Jason Tatum. We'll discuss next. Oh, don't. Well, I've been telling yo, you that.